This is going to be the last level for tonight, and uh, I'm going to call quits after this level. Gabriel has finally defeated Frankenstein's abomination. This hellish place is enough to thwart any man's resolve, and yet Gabriel seems completely willing to continue to the bitter end. I hardly recognize my old friend now. A steely resolve has taken hold, and compassion is now gone from his heart. He doesn't sleep these days, more's the pity. He just rages at the world and those creatures that dare to confront him. This next challenge will tax his mind further, and I fear it may break it forever. All right. Now this is what the lens is for, so this machine here. There is three lenses in total. There's a green lens, a, a red lens, and a blue lens. And there's also a body behind this uh, this knight here, but we can't do anything with it because the knight's in the way. Damn you, animated creature. Ah, animated armor, there we go. This is the words, as I came for. Oh, uh, before we can first solve this puzzle, though, we got vampires! Nasty vampire syndrome. What time we got some action? Nothing but puzzles. Puzzles here, puzzles there. Non stop puzzles. I do like a good puzzle. It's like it's good for uh, testing the bond, but it's still annoying after a while. Nothing but puzzles. We see something you have to do here is you go to this guy here, who's lying on the ground, take his scroll. Uh, the tiles appear to be some kind of key to open the door. I managed to light one section by activating the last of my shadow gem uh, in one of the corners, but I simply can't do it fast enough. Uh, to light uh, the four of them. So basically what you have to do is you have to use your shadow magic to do that. It's shadow dash, I guess. Whatever you like to call it. I was mostly trying to get them out of my face. I was just kind of hitting the y, uh, the y and the X button randomly. <laughs> I was actually paying attention to what I was doing. I had the green lens, but unfortunately the gate closed on us. Because this douchebag decided to attack us. And again, I can't jump. Why? Well, I, I 
that's not that big of a jump. Why can't I jump over that balcony? That's just, that's just stupid. All right, now that we have the green lens, we can combine the red lens with the green lens to open up the yellow door. Because green and our red make yellow. And then we have to do the same thing here. As we did in the other door. But first we got these scoundrels that they are. I shouldn't use up all my shadow magic because I need it to open the gate. Where's the body over there? I didn't notice that body over there. Not so much now. I have been using shadow magic constantly and I'm afraid of what it has done to me. Dark thoughts cloud my mind, and the more I use the magic, the more I enjoy killing. Dear God, it feels so good to butcher these creatures, but the dreams, they haunt me every night until I cannot face them anymore. What is to become of me? I have strayed too far from the light and soon i fear i shall become a hundred i don't know what that word is of evil myself uh, i'm gonna go replenish my shadow magic just to be on the safe side yeah i didn't notice that body was there until that little cutscene Interesting. Now this one's gonna be a little tricky considering uh, it's kind of side. It is a uh, it's the the square is kind of tilted, but it's pretty much the the same thing as it did with the other one. Now we have the blue lens. Unfortunately, we're gonna get attacked again. All right, now we have all three lenses. We're good. Now we have all three lenses. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to remove this, the red one to open the green door. Now, it's recommended that you do this after you acquire the village of Double Jump, but I found that you can do it now, so might as well do it now. Now, there's a body right there, which you can actually jump to, but you can get close enough to it to be able to take 
the like jump, the life jump, but the boat. Now this was a little bit tricky because it's not in a square, so it's just like in the line. But if you push the analyze stick in the right direction, you can do it. The ironic thing is, is those sword masters that appeared before I swung over here, they disappeared after I swung over here. This is like, okay, we're, just, we're gonna go home now. Uh, it's up and left. All right, now we have this key, which we're going to use in a moment. But before we use it, I'm going to align the green with the blue to wake this guy up so he get off the body. Then we'll go ahead and use this because he's going to give me another one, so... And I want to get rid of him quickly, because he's annoying. Anyway, we have uh, the body now. Give us a light, a light gem, a light gem. Sorry. Thank you very much. All right, and now I'm going to line the red one with the blue one and the green one, which makes a white light for some reason. Anyway, which opens the white door. And we've got another battery over here. I knew this guy was here. Uh, information gathered from books found at Wayland's Abbey's library. Uh, I assume that those are uh, those words that are kind of cut out or kind of him swearing so they just kind of blimp them out. According to the local tales and uh, some witchcraft texts, uh, this castle was rumored to be hunted long before the vampires came to dwell on its walls. Uh, this legend was so powerful that to this day only a handful of people have dared to call this place home. And then of course they blimped the fuck out to the, because he was probably swearing again. Uh, uh, one of the families that owned the castle, the Bern Bernhard clan, uh, some uh supposedly made a pact with a house uh, a house yeah house mom, uh which resulted in the building itself being possessed by the demon probably it is just a myth created to harm the reputation of the family but the fact that the castle could be a living entirely made explain how for centuries no one has been able to create a complete map of it. Even after exp uh, sp sp spending uh, consider considerable resources on uh, such an easy task and then he swore again <laughs> you're supposed to be a brother of hold of light you're not supposed to swear okay no swearing bad boy bad 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 you bad you and your putty mouth grab the hook there we go
Alright, now that we're done going through doors or solving puzzles or stuff, we can move on. I accepted to do that. All I have to do is remove the green lens and the red and blue lens will make a purple light. Because red and blue is purple. Uh, making sure that everything is touched up. All right, yeah, it will be good. Get ready for another fight. It's not fair. I never knew. Spoiled brat. As you can see, she sends her little now, toys after us. Play with my toys. Uh, get ready to, to, to fight them. You have to use. You can use the jack or the black crystal to destroy them that way, but it would just will summon more of them. Because apparently, when their essence is destroyed, uh, when their bodies are destroyed, without destroying the essence. Uh, their essence is transferred to another toy bag. So in order to truly destroy them, you have to do this. How dare you break my top? The late toys. Unfortunately, when you're down to the last one, as you can see, it summons that black goo stuff, which I hate so much. said you're a small brat.
I envy you. I envy you both. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> the only thing is, because she's a vampire, she can see dead people. Because she's undead herself, then so how come she was able to see his wife, Bray? So that's a funny thing. Well, anyway, that's uh, that's it for for tonight. Uh, next time uh, we play Castlevania, we'll be moving on to chapter what was that eight? Yeah, uh, chapter eight, chapter eight. Yeah, but that'll be next time. Bye.